so I thought I'd make a quick follow-up to my original Paris video discussing this breaking news. The City of Love's bed bug pandemic. What were your first thoughts hearing about this? Disgusting? Revolting? Well, you're obviously just close-minded and dead wrong because now, for any tourist visiting, you have the added attraction of a free live safari show where you can watch Mother Nature's creatures thrive right from your hotel bed. You can also take home a wholesome souvenir absolutely free of charge. That being sepsis. Also these cute all natural freckles and if you're lucky they might just turn into permanent marks or as I see it free tattoos to remember your romantic trip. Now talking about romance for all you freaks watching I can guarantee that all Paris hotel rooms come with a complimentary live audience that appear when you generate some body heat so if you're freaky like that pack your bags. And if you can't be asked to fly to Paris to see these attractions in person but still want to witness the joys that bed bugs bring then boy do I have news for you. This massive rise in bed bugs happened during Paris Fashion Week which is when tons of tourists come to look at concerningly skinny tall people walk around wearing the most uncomfortable outfits possible. Because of the massive spike in international tourism last week it's very possible that we could now see a dramatic rise in bed bug populations all around the world especially since these buff Parisian bed bugs have developed immunity to pesticides and even have been found living on public transport in airports cinemas even hospitals I can't wait now in all seriousness there's been some abysmally stupid conspiracies going around about where these bed bugs have come from for example the far right are blaming immigrants specifically Muslims who Pascal Pauld states are people who don't have the same hygiene conditions so to lay out how stupid this is let me pose to you two hypothetical people first off we have Amir an Algerian immigrant living in Paris whose Islamic faith strictly places a strong emphasis on cleanliness I quote Islam requires the Muslim to clean his body his clothes his house and the whole community and he is rewarded by God for doing so Amir's traditions are commonly viewed by any unbiased analyst as historically the cleanest and most hygienic in the world. I mean this man even sacrificed bacon out of cleanliness and you've got to be really really committed to cleanliness to sacrifice bacon bro. Anyway then we have Pierre a dirty greasy sweaty cigarette chiefing, snail gulping, polyamorous, no shower having, no toothbrush owning, sofa sleeping, average French male. I think we know who's spreading the bed bugs, don't we? Yeah, maybe that was a bit of an over exaggeration, just a bit. But my point is, the ethnically French Parisians aren't exactly famous for being clean and hygienic, okay? Bed bugs have been a problem in Paris for all of modern history. And lots of tourists, plus hotels that don't want to spend their precious money on cleaning beds is the perfect equation to generate a massive bed bug problem. I can't wait to see what the Olympics bring next year. <laughs> You can see the cultural difference between North Africa and Europe by comparing their attitudes to the potentially spreading bed bug pandemic. Algeria and Morocco are dowsing flights coming in from Paris in pesticides. <laughs> and the UK, apparently it's not a problem for us. Anyway, so looks like I might be homeless soon because obviously the UK doesn't give a f about our public seats getting taken over by Paris Fashion Week transmitted bed bugs. And I'm telling you right now, if I sit on a train and somehow accidentally transmit these dickheads into my my bed I am burning my entire house down I don't give a f at least sleeping on the pavement outside Asda means no bed bugs